It was Wednesday, August 30th, 2000, under the sign of Virgo, a sunny day when the U.S. president was Bill Clinton, my birthday. The only arms that held me that day were those of my doctors and my mother. My father was not there. He left before I was born. Immediately, I lost something that I thought everyone deserved, a father figure. My mother adopted this role and often joked that she was our parents. From the first minute of my life, I knew that the world would have already had the upper hand of my life. I had my mother and sister, but I always knew I needed someone else. After my brother left the house when he was 18 years old, I started to crave something that I never had before. A role model for my juvenile mind. I was still too young to realize why he left or why I needed this uncontrollable feeling, but I just knew that I was alone and my mother was the only one I could look to. This was tough to process at such a young age because I just found myself fighting all these feelings that roamed in my head. I led myself to rock bottom uniquely, the illusion that my life was worthless and had no meaning, all because I felt so lost, I had no proper guidance. Kaleo, the author of The Alchemist, once said, sometimes there's just no way to hold back the river. The feeling of worthlessness that I felt when my mother kicked my sister and I out of our own home when we were 15 years old was the same exact way. I never knew how much I missed everything until I had nothing left. I had no one but my sister, and even that, she built the tallest of walls to eliminate the vulnerability that she was so terrified of. All in the span of the year, I learned how many different times things. It wasn't until I was adopted and then adopted again into a place that I refer as to hell on earth. I was living with my brother again, the one that moved out when he was 18. At this point, I was a junior in high school. Turning 16 was nothing but sweet. There were good and bad times, but I just couldn't focus on anything but the negative. My journey started in Mentor High School, my freshman year through my senior year. My freshman year, I was recruited for every sport at the school, from volleyball to even football. Throwing was the only thing that seemed to bring me joy, and I could give no other thanks to my head coach, Robert Burwald. One day, I found myself in a bit of a pickle. I got into a huge brawl in the middle of our school parking lot right before practice. And after that day, my life would never be the same because he gave me the words that I needed to hear. After this day, I started to ask myself who I needed, who I had been craving for so long, and how do I find someone that I never had before. My personal legend is something I'm going to hold next to me for the rest of my life. This took me 19 years to find. I eventually stopped wandering around, crying for the day that I finally felt at peace, begging and pleading to the clouds that I found the answer I was longing for. It's almost been 20 years since that Wednesday afternoon. It took me 19 years to move past everything I endured, to have the courage not to look back, to just keep moving forward. My personal legend is the idea that I want to be the person I needed when I was growing up. I firmly believe that everything happens for a reason, and I was born to make a change in this world. From this, I found that I'm able to help other people as well as helping myself. With that, Sir Thomas Brown once said, all wonders you seek are within yourself. I know it just takes time to learn the truth and how to utilize it, but Cleo also said, there's only one way to learn, it's through action. Everything you need to know, you have learned through your journey.